In the first two nights of our sleep competition, we saw Greg and Melissa battle it out under the covers. What is he eating? Is that a cookie? I'm hoping to see Greg make some improvements. With orange-tinted glasses. Yep. Wow, yeah. everything <laughs> has changed. And a weighted blanket. Oh my gosh, yeah, you look it dead. Worked. <laughs> Melissa proceeded to the final. Melissa, your score from night two of Sleeping With Friends is... 90. Oh my god. Oh my god. One lucky contestant will join her as we head back to bed for the second round of Sleeping With Friends. I'm your host, Vanessa Hill, and I'm joined by our judges, Dr. Ali Matu and Trace Dominguez. What do you think tonight has in store for us? I just want to see some nice, relaxing sleep. I mean, even if our contestants don't get there, everyone watching at home can learn how to have a rejuvenating night of sleep. For me, I'm hoping to see new sleep aids. They're going to help people, you know, have a better night's sleep. I'm really excited to find out. We will find out shortly. Let's meet our new contestants. My name is Mitchell Moffat, and I'm from ASAP Science, the other half of Greg. I've had a variety of sleep issues through my life. I dry my teeth, I toss and turn, but my biggest issue is I have a bit of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is actually when you stop breathing in your sleep for maybe 10 seconds at a time. I'm honestly really excited because I have a science background using different techniques and technologies on myself. I think that's gonna be an awesome insight into my brain and life. Hi, my name's Donna. I run a YouTube channel called Psych IRL where I explain trending topics in a very psychological way. My sleep issue is that I feel like my success is very proportional to my work. So instead of just trying to fall asleep, why not get up and just try to go do some work? It's pretty bad. If I had the choice of never sleeping at all with no side effects, I would not be sleeping. I'm heading to the sleep lab because I need help with my sleep issues. Welcome to the Sleep House, where you'll compete to achieve the best night's sleep. Mitch, did you ever think you'd be on a reality show about science? Um, I didn't think I would, but this is basically my dream come true, combining my two loves of science and reality. <laughs> Donna, how are you feeling? Nervous, but great because we get to sleep. <laughs> are you hoping to have some sweet dreams while you're here? Oh yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Mitch, do you have any sleep problems you're hoping to tackle? Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a, a little freak in the middle of the night. Sometimes I, I have been diagnosed with mild sleep apnea, so I often wake up like gasping for air. I mean, I don't like to think I snore, but certainly my partner says that I am an annoying breather at night, so you're gonna tell me, really. Donna, you've said that you're an anxious sleeper. Yeah, it's so hard for me to fall asleep because I will not go to sleep or feel sleepy until I am satisfied with the amount of work I have done. So you're gonna see probably me tossing and turning all night. So we have the warrior and the snorer here <laughs> going head to head in our sleep yes. competition. Here for the science drama. Here we go. <laughs> our contestants will be scored based on four criteria. How long it takes them to fall asleep, how much deep sleep they get, how restless they are overnight, and on a series of wake up tests. For the next two nights, you'll be snoozing and snoring your way through your baseline measurement, and then on night two, we'll see if you improve. And you'll have the opportunity to test out the latest in sleep aid technology. Mitch and Donna, it's time for your first night's sleep. Please make your way to the bedrooms. Right. Off you go. <laughs> Let's do it. Donna seems like a fairly determined person to me, so I know she's here to win. So uh, I think I have my competition cut out for me. So I get into the room and there's cameras all over the place. There's this sort of mirror fixture on the roof that is like a spaceship. I mean, I'm a little worried to just be like filmed and just be exposed for potentially the snore or bad sleeper I am. But I'd rather find out I'm bad at sleeping than never know, so at least there's a chance to improve. My bedroom routine is washing my face and brushing my teeth and trying to go to sleep. I'm feeling so nervous because I know I'm so bad at sleep. I am super worried that the stress I'm feeling is going to make my sleep issues 10 times worse. Mitch looks like a great sleeper but I'm really competitive, so I'm determined to win. 
While the contestants are dimming their lights, the judges are turning on our night vision to observe their sleep. It's our first time in the sleep lab watching Mitch and Donna. I'm excited to see some new folks. I am pumped. Donna's taking off her glasses. She is going in the middle of the pillows. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which, which is it, a little interesting to it, me. It is, because you kind of miss out on the, the meaty part of the pillow when you do that. <laughs> the meaty part. The pillow meat. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> She looks so cozy. I wish I could be among that many pillows right now. No offense to the two of you, but that seems a lot better. Our first night with Mitch. Will half of ASAP Science sleep better than the other half? Will one of them fall asleep ASAP? <laughs> it looks like he's a shirtless sleeper. Yes. I hope he's wearing more. There actually is science to support sleeping in the nude. You can thermoregulate better. It also adds a number of other benefits in terms of airing out certain parts of your body that don't always get aired out, which mm. is good for both men and women. And if you have a partner, you can initiate some late night time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one who has to wake him up in the morning, so I do hope that he has something else on under there. Mm -hmm. She seems pretty still now. Mm -hmm. We can see, oh, on her EEG here, yes, she's in light sleep. She has oh. just entered sleep. That was very quick. It only yeah, took her yeah. 12 minutes to enter the first stage of sleep, which is great. Oh, wow, okay, he fell asleep in 16 minutes? That's a pretty good time to sleep. If you fall asleep too quickly, that's not a good sign mm -hmm. because it indicates that you're exhausted or you may have some other underlying condition. And if it takes too long, obviously that's bad as well because it predicts a bad night's sleep. Donna hasn't spent much time in deep sleep tonight. Mm. Donna did tell us that sleeping mm. is a chore to her. It makes me wonder how much stress or anxiety might she be experiencing? Yeah. If you're experiencing stress or anxiety and it's interrupting your sleep, it helps to keep a strict routine. Go to bed and get up at the same time every day. During the day, set time for exercise and meditation, two things that, that can help you sleep more soundly. And when it's getting close to bedtime, dim the lights to get in the mood for sleep. Building a sleep routine is the most effective first step to managing any stress affecting your quality of sleep. A nice sleep routine, that's what we're looking for here. That's right. Her and Mitch are having really similar evenings. It's almost like they're sleeping in sync with each other. Mm. What yeah. is Mitch doing here? He he's got he's out of standing bed. up. I'm glad to see that he's wearing some underwear. We can confirm <laughs> he is not nude. Yeah. You can look at Donna's EEG and see she's in REM sleep right now. Her brain is almost as active as when she's awake. She might be having some dreams there. Mm -hmm. Is his mouth open? Is his leg up in the air? It's not quite a snore, more heavy breathing. Interesting. We can see that, yes, he's in deep sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, he has some really slow waves there. Mm -hmm. Sleep is a lot more active. Wow, so much is going on all the time. That really mirrors all, a lot of the discoveries that have been made about your brain when it's asleep. Look at us, bringing it all together <laughs> in the sleep lab. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Vanessa. So I have a panel of wake-up tests, which we hope will measure how restful and restorative your night's sleep was. OK. I'm ready to go. Great. <laughs> so your first test is a reaction time test. When you see a number come up on this screen, just tap it as fast as you can. Okay. Okay. Off you go. You have the reaction time of a 20-year-old. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> Your average reaction time is 430 milliseconds. Mm. So our next test is a memory test. I'm going to read out 10 words, and then I'll have you recite them back to me. Okay. Let. Herb. Song. Black. Live. Saw, drop, gull, crab, and dish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I've already forgotten all of them. <laughs> Soar, gull, crab. Herb. Song. Dish. Um. Black. Shoot. <laughs> what else was there? Your time is up. <sighs> you received a score of six oh. for the memory test, <laughs> which isn't ideal. Okay. So you scored eight. 
Our final morning test is a mood test. You'll circle the amount that you feel the different emotions. Lively, definitely not today. I feel like relatively happy. Drowsy. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a little bit. That concludes your morning testing. Okay, great. Upstairs, we have our resident therapist, Katie Morton, who's gonna give you some tips to help you sleep better. Hope it helps. Yes. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Katie. Hey, Katie, I'm Mitch. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. How was your sleep <sighs> last night? Um, I think it was an okay sleep, actually. I wouldn't say full night. Okay, so that's kind of like normal when you're at home? I have a mild sleep apnea, so okay. sometimes I wake up like gasping for air. So far as I know, it's mostly when I'm on my back. Do you have like a routine that you do? I try to deal with the schedule around it, but I don't know that I'm always good with that. So what I'd like you to try out tonight is to start a ritual, give yourself like 30 minutes, no devices, okay. and then I'd like you to get as dense of a pillow as you can find and put it against your back. Okay. So we don't get into that, that sleep apnea feeling. Great, yeah. great. Just stop rolling over. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, I should do that. Because, yeah, as of now, it's more like my partner having to mm -hmm. be like, uh, yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, and then over. I'm like annoyed because I'm like, why'd you wake me up? I was sleeping. Yeah, so maybe that will prevent that. And okay. We'll see how it goes. Let me know. Okay, amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Tonight, I'm hoping to try all the advice out that Katie gave me. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm Donna. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. How was your sleep last night? Ooh. OK, so last night, I think I slept about three to four hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. Did you struggle to fall asleep from the beginning? The thought of the process of trying to sleep gives me anxiety, kind of. Something that I would encourage you to do when those thoughts start swirling, I want you to go back to like a favorite memory that you have. If you can't come up with a good memory, you can actually just make one up and pretend that you're like in your head, you're telling it to me in as much detail as possible. Use all of your senses. And by the time we focused our brain on that good memory, all that ruminating should stop. Thinking of a memory seems like a lot of work. And so that also gives me anxiety of like, oh no, I've. I've got to do this just to fall asleep. It sounds like a lot of worry thoughts yeah. in general. Like yeah. immediately when I'm like, let's try this, you're like, well, what if it doesn't work? Yeah. We'll give it a try. Okay. I think that'll be really beneficial. And if not, I have a lot of other tricks up my sleeve, so don't worry. Okay. As much as you can, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Donna and Mitch, thanks for sleeping with us last night. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Midge, how many hours do you think you slept for last night? Uh, I mean, it was kind of tough because I felt that I was coming in and out. It felt like maybe five or six hours, but it could have been less, could have been more. Tona, what about you? Man, I remember going to bed at 11 and then looking at my watch and it was four. You think you were awake between 11 p.m. and 4 a.m.? I don't know, that's what I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Mitch. Let's take a look at you first. <laughs> okay, I feel really nervous. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I look like an alien. <laughs> okay, lots of tossing. <laughs> oh, okay, little nude shot. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I look so tired, oh my God. <laughs> there was nothing too crazy shocking. At least I wasn't like fully sleepwalking or anything. Well, our judges have spent all night reviewing your footage. Okay. <laughs> and our EEG data reveals that it took you 16 minutes for your brain to fall asleep. Oh, that's not bad at all. But while you were asleep, your restlessness score was on the higher side, so this did hurt your overall sleep score. In total, you were asleep for seven hours and nine minutes, but... It wasn't a lot of deep sleep. Yeah, you were actually in light sleep for a lot more of the night. And you report waking up a lot and remembering that. This is probably why. Mitch, out of 100, your score for night one is... Sixty-five. <laughs> okay, so it's a pass, right? Sixty is a pass. <laughs> well, that brings us to you, Donna. <laughs> oh no, I'm cringing. <laughs> I'm checking for Mitch. She might be. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Gotta get the pillows perfect. It's like you're having a pillow fight with your son. Yes. I know. Building a little oh. fortress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. My heart's still pounding. My hands, for some reason, are sweaty. <laughs> Our brain station, EEG, revealed that it only took you 11 minutes no. to enter the first stages of sleep. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. Our data showed that you actually slept 
for seven hours and 26 minutes. Wow. What? I know that you don't think that you're falling asleep at night, but that could be because you're in light sleep and you're remembering a lot. It could be a lot of things. Just remember, you are falling asleep. Relax. At the same time, like Mitch, most of your sleep was shallow. You didn't get a lot of that deep, rejuvenating sleep. Donna, your score from night one is... <laughs> 68! Oh. <laughs> wow, we were so close. It is so similar, yeah. too, in terms of light sleep and deep sleep. How do you feel? Um, great, because I beat Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't over, girl. <laughs> well, going into night two, I can reveal a twist in our scoring. You're not actually competing against each other. You're actually competing against yourselves. Oh. <laughs> okay. The night's sleep that you just had was your baseline measurement. So your goal is to beat that night's sleep tonight. All right, okay, so we can cheer each yeah. other on now. Right. <laughs> well, going into night two, you won't be sleeping alone. <laughs> Joining you will be two pieces of sleep technology. Welcome to your first challenge. Oh. <laughs> first, we have a Somnox sleep robot. Mitch, when you think of a sleep robot, what comes to mind? <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of creepy, <laughs> but also like, okay, it's 2020, it's time to sleep with robots. <laughs> the robot breathes and people have a tendency to fall in sync with the robot's slow, deep breathing. Our second item is a pair of smart pyjamas. They're made from a special fabric that increases blood flow and oxygen to your cells. The contestant who fell asleep first last night will get the first choice. Which sleep aid would you like to share a bed with tonight? Whew. Well, I really want to see Mitch with that sleep robot. <laughs> so. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the pajamas. Mitch, that leaves you with the breathing sleep robot. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun to compare to Greg as a sleep companion. I have a feeling it will be easier to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Please head to your bedrooms to start winding down before bed. Okay. All right, let's do this. Round two. <laughs> Because I performed worse, Donna gets to choose, and she designates that I get the robot. I get to sleep with an android robot in my bed. <laughs> I could actually become overly attached. I mean, who knows if then I'm gonna need this thing every night if I get better sleep. And then it's like, sorry, Greg, I've got a new sleeping buddy. I'm really skeptical of these pajamas because they feel and look like just normal pajamas. I don't know if they're gonna help my sleep, but I am curious. These feel kind of silky and smooth, so I'm excited. I'm off to bed for night two. Wish me luck. This is it. It's our last night in the sleep lab for round two. Mitch is going shirtless again. A cool bedroom temperature can improve sleep quality or you can take your shirt off. Yeah, thermoregulation. It looks like he's cuddling the sleep robot. There it is. <gasps> there it is, wow. there it is. I've been waiting for this. I yeah. really want to see how the sleep robot is going to play out for Mitch. I know what you're thinking. A breathing sleep robot? Well, there is some interesting research around breathing and sleep. Studies have found that in people with insomnia, practicing slow breathing exercises 20 minutes before bed decreased the time it took for people to fall asleep. And that's where this guy comes in. Humans are likely to breathe in sync with the robot's deep breaths, leading to a better night's sleep. We know that when most people sleep, their breathing does slow down. That does trigger the relaxation response in your body, the parasympathetic nervous system. You're more likely to breathe from your belly, your diaphragm, into your nose. Out. That was nice. Donna was putting her glasses away. She's rolling over. She's arranging her pillows. I'm becoming more concerned that we're not going to see improvement from night one. Yeah, she is quite restless. Hmm. Oh. Is that, oh, is that is what I think it is? 
Oh, no. No. Okay. Oh. I thought that was okay. a phone grab. That was no. a close call. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That was close. Mitch was with the robot. Has he ditched it? Where is the robot here? If he's under the sheet, I don't see any robot moving. Perhaps he's just kicked the robot to the curb. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Donna is sleeping in some smart pajamas. Mm -hmm. They're made with a special fabric that's patented and regulated by mm -hmm. the FDA mm -hmm. that increases blood flow. So your muscles should be more restored when you wake up. Mm -hmm. That's the idea behind them. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. We've got a bathroom break. We've got a runner. Yeah. Both Mitch and Donna, they're sleeping so similarly. They've had a lot of light sleep and not a lot of deep sleep. He's going sheet only. Just sleeping with a sheet. Mitch told us he was a snorer, but we haven't heard anything. He's doing work. Mm -hmm. He's well, looking he for just, something. Is he looking he at us? started right up. It looks like he's staring into I my think eyes. He's... Is he Wait, is he looking around? Is he, is he sending us right a message? I'm very nervous Me about too. who's gonna make it to the final. Good morning. Hi, Vanessa. How are you feeling? I'm actually feeling pretty good today. You seem peppy. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> it's time for your wake-up testing. Okay. All right, let's go. Are you ready to go? I am ready. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. no. What does that mean? It might pull down your average, but keep going. Excellent. So your average reaction time is 326 milliseconds. Oh, awesome. That's great. That's, That's an better. improvement from yesterday. Yeah. Your average is 328 oh milliseconds. Your first word is care. Red, pine, okay. hum, mm -hmm. and two. Whenever you're ready. Red. Two. Care. Mm -hmm. Bird? My heart's beating so fast, I don't even know. <laughs> the two you missed were taste and rat. Rat. That is the one I was like, I won't forget that one for yeah. sure. <laughs> That's terrifying. The two words that you missed are rat oh. and taste. Dang. But eight is an excellent score on the memory test. Lively. Um, actually, yeah, kind of. Happy. Hmm. No, I'm not happy. Well, no, I think I'm content right now. No, never calm. Great. That completes your morning testing. We'll see you upstairs in the judges' room for the results very shortly. Oh, I'm curious about Donna and how she slept, so it'll be interesting. After my second night of sleep, who sleeps this well? Sounds like we've had a really similar experience, so I'm curious to see what her score will be. I'm nervous because I feel like I didn't sleep that much, so I don't know if that'll affect the score. We hope your night was cozy and your dreams were sweet, but the time has come for one of you to return to your own bed. This is the closest we have seen this competition. If this were sports, we would have to call this a tie, but we really do need a winner. Mitch, how was your night with the sleep robot? I will say at the beginning, I found it very cute and cuddly. So the robot reminded you of Greg. <laughs> did it get up and go to the bathroom as many times as Greg did, though? <laughs> it was interesting. I feel like it took me longer to fall asleep in my mind because that dang robot was keeping me awake, so eventually I retired it. <laughs> but after that, I feel that I maybe slept more soundly than the first night in that I wasn't, I don't recall waking up as much. Donna, how did you sleep? Um, it took me quite a while to fall asleep. I do remember having some deep sleep, though, and then waking up at five. Okay. Yeah. How were the pajamas? Okay. They feel like normal pajamas. They're pretty comfortable. So overall, I think it improved my sleep, but I think it's a lot because of the placebo. Your sleep was shallow. You didn't get a lot of that deep, rejuvenating sleep. Now, our judges have been up all night reviewing your sleep and calculating your sleep score. We're about to watch the footage. Perhaps, what is your last evening in the sleep house? Oh, there's my little bud. <laughs> <laughs> Had some get-ups to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's the first movement. That's it, breathing. See how big it is? <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm gonna like put it to the side for a bit. Okay. Was an interesting night. <laughs> Mitch, your score for night two is 
Come on, keep going up. 67. Okay, there is improvement, right? I went up a little bit. <laughs> You've improved by two slate points. <laughs> we didn't see a lot of improvement from night one. Similarly, you didn't get a lot of deep sleep. Whew. Okay. That said, you do have a lot of good sleep behaviors. You know how to thermoregulate by wearing the right clothing. You did try out the sleep aid, and it may have actually helped you a little bit. So you're on the right track. There's room for improvement still. Donna, here's how you slept on night two. Oh, no. What? <laughs> I'm not sucking my thumb, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> There's some tossing and turning. What is going on under there? <laughs> That wasn't so bad. You were hidden for most of it. <laughs> now, normally, we would expect people to improve night overnight, but you were still really restless this night, and that was a little disappointing. We're ready to reveal your final sleep score. Your score from night two is... Oh, my God, here we go. Come on, please. 68. Oh, man. One point. <laughs> And the winner of round two of Sleeping With Friends is... Mitch. Oh, okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay. It was so close. I tried to sabotage you with the robot. It didn't work, unfortunately, but great job. Thank you. It could be that you're uncomfortable in this environment still. There's more we can do to help you calm your mind and calm your body before you go to sleep. Donna, your sleep cycles have now ended. That sucks, but tried my best. I hope you have a better night's rest when you're back in the comfort of your own bed. So coming into this experience, I didn't know a lot about sleep, but leaving, I actually gained a lot of knowledge. Vanessa, Thank you for all the tips. I'm definitely going to be taking that home with me. Judges, uh, thanks for judging me, I guess. <laughs> I liked what Katie Morton taught me about the scheduling. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I also liked that she asked me to recall memories when I was having trouble sleeping. Sadly, I didn't make it to the finals, but at least I'm leaving with a lot of good advice. And I'm taking these pajamas with me. next time on Sleeping With Friends. We head into our final with a surprise. Mitch can't return to the sleep house. One contestant gets a second chance. I am so excited to actually try and improve. We test an old sleep strategy with a new twist. You will be attempting to nap. Oh, OK. No. <laughs> <laughs> and see if too many sleep aids can backfire. She's gone too hard. It's really anyone's game.